RNA is a polymeric molecule that acts as a messenger between DNA and the protein synthesis complexes, better known as ribosomes. RNA interference, or RNAi, is a mechanism performed by an enzyme named Dicer. Dicer operates with a second enzyme, Argonaut. Together the two locate double-stranded RNA, or dsRNA. dsRNA forms the genetic material of many viruses. Once Dicer and Argonaut target the dsRNA, they go after it, and it gets cleaved and subsequently degraded. This prevents the genes from translating into a protein sequence, thus silencing the gene. History tells us that Sir Isaac Newton discovered the law of gravity sitting under a tree, being hit on the head by an apple. Ugh. This apple has an entirely disgusting brown spot from striking my melon. That! I was born 350 years too early! Even with all of my intellect, I have no idea how to silence this pesky polyphenol oxidase enzyme that caused my apple to turn brown. No matter, I shall sit here and wait for someone to discover RNA interference. RNA interference was discovered accidentally by Rich Jorgensen in 1986. Rich was trying to create an extremely purple petunia. He knew which gene produced the purple color, so he took this gene and introduced it into the already purple flower. Instead of the petunia turning a different purple, it became a pigmentless white. After this phenomenon, it took scientists over a decade to figure out what had happened. They discovered that if you introduce an already present gene into a cell, it will be silenced, along with all of its similar genes. Scientists have discovered how to silence genes in plants. A group of them from Canada have begun silencing the browning gene in apples. These new and improved apples are called Arctic apples. The apples are grown in an orchard. Then the scientists introduce the browning trait into a tiny leaf, which then grows into a tiny tree. After further growth, a portion of the tree is grafted onto a commonly used apple rootstock. Nearly all fruit trees are propagated by this type of grafting. Agrobacterium is introduced into the plant along with the gene of interest. Agrobacterium are naturally occurring soil organisms that can transfer genes into plants. Without it, scientists could create the perfect gene sequence, but the leaf tissue wouldn't absorb it. Promoters and terminators are incorporated with the agrobacterium and the PPO gene. They tell a plant where to stop and where to start reading the gene's instructions so that the trait can be expressed correctly. The marker gene is the last tool used in creating the non-browning apple. The marker gene is used to determine which leaf pieces incorporated the non-browning trait and which did not. In apples, polyphenol oxidase, a plant enzyme, also known as PPO, is responsible for the browning and bruising. So this is the gene that is introduced into the apple setting off RNA interference. The Dicer and Argonaut enzymes locate the PPO gene and silence it, along with all of the similar genes in the apple. There you have it, a non-browning, non-bruising apple. Groundbreaking scientists and researchers have also been working to target therapeutic applications of RNA interference. For instance, attempts have been made to silence the HIV gene. With the help of enzymes Argonaut and Dicer, the opportunities with RNA interference will be revolutionary.